Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of the What Did He Said podcast. I know that's a crazy ass name. People be like, man, just name it the Chingo Bling podcast. So it has a lot of aliases. But today, this is a new setup. I hope y'all dig it. Uh, we got that boy Average Joe in the building behind the scenes, making sure everything's looking right, sounding good. And today's very, 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 very special guest in the garage is my homie, yeah. Bryson Brown. What's happening, G? How y'all feel? You know what I'm man? saying? We got the pure rail, so don't, yeah, I, I know y'all tripping. It, I hit it twice already. You good? Yeah, people yeah. like, man, did they just shake hands? <laughs> yeah. I don't just shake hands with it's just, you know. This is a bottle, too. This is a big one. Yeah. I went early and got this. You can't find this shit in the store. Make sure no you more. aim this mic. Oh, my bad. You can't find this in the store no more either. You know what I no, mean? No, you know Not what? Not that size. Sol. Uh, when where, we got this at Whole Foods, where did we get this at? H E B. H E B. And this was when the water thing happened. Water, water okay. So, yes, the, yeah. so basically, man, I started hearing about this. Um, you know the C, the C word. Okay. The, the, okay. The Rona. We started hearing about it, and we did Kansas City, Kansas City and Prague. When we landed at the at a hobby airport, we couldn't get coffee. You know, we little coffee addicts. Yeah. Matter of fact, hurt too. Yeah. Joe, <laughs> no, it hurt. I left my coffee right there, dog. You know? <laughs> Crunch time. Thank you, cameo. Um, so we landed from Kansas City. We get to the Hobby Airport, and the restaurants couldn't serve. Right, they didn't have coffee or nothing because the water line busted on the east side. And um, I told my soul, I was like, "Hey, while we're going to get waters, um, I'm hearing about this thing, and you know, W U H A W U H A N." And uh, <laughs> I don't want to get flagged. <laughs> and uh, sure enough, we came up on this bad boy before people was up, up on game yeah. about germs and stuff. Yeah, you can't find it no more. You can't find hand sanitizer in the stores, dog. This it's is, all sold out. I yeah. bought mine from a nigga in the alley the other day. He had it. <laughs> <laughs> like thirty dollars a bottle, but just you know, randomly. You gotta, yeah, yeah, yeah. He hit me on Facebook and he had it on him. <laughs> meet me in the alley. Yeah, yeah, meet him in the alley. <laughs> so, uh, man, so my homie Bryson Brown. It's his second time on the podcast. Second time. First yeah. time in the garage studio. Yeah, I seen a new one. Yeah. Like yeah. Last time we were huddled up in the baby's room, <laughs> and uh, Mighty Soul was sitting on the stool, and we're all like in the corner. I'm running over there pressing record, but uh, just shout out to the listeners, man. Yeah. Um, how far you've come, my dog? Right. You know, we got lights and stuff. <laughs> From darkness to light. Player. We got liquor. I like it. We got, yeah, we yeah, got yeah. you know, a section for wigs and props. So it's not really like Joe Rogan's spot. He got like an area for MMA and bow and arrows and shit. But we got a little green screen stapled to the wall. Huh? Go up? I want to make the second floor. Mm. And what, what, what do we do upstairs? Like, I think that's where, like, production should happen. And what's down here? The green room? Like, your podcast. Make beats. <laughs> hey, oh, man, podcast extension, dog. That's a good idea. But we need to have someone come check the foundation. Yeah, make sure. Yeah, mm. but I like um, what y'all done to this motherfucker so far, though. Man, we'll shout out some of y'all ideas. Shout out to uh, that shirt. DC. Oh, DC Improv. Yeah, shout out to the DC Improv, man. I, I love the DC Improv. You one go there all favorite, the time because one of my uh, favorite clubs. you went with us. <laughs> yep. Had a good time out there. And then there. you had just been there with Bruce, right? Bruce, yep. Yeah. Had a good time Bruce, out there. Bruce, Bruce. Shout yeah, out to Bruce, man. Bruce. Yeah, yeah. I like the D.C. improv. D.C. is a, a dope-ass comedy city, period, though. Like, D.C., uh, Philly, Baltimore. I know they all different. D.C. that whole little, little circle. D.C. has Donnell Rawlings, Dave Chappelle. Yeah. Who else yeah. came out Martin of D.C.? Martin came out of D.C. Martin, Martin Lawrence. Lawrence. Tommy Davidson came out of D.C. Um, yeah, D.C. got some cash. Where's, where's, Mar got where's Martin from? Uh, Martin Lawrence, DC. Yeah. He's from DC. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He from no DC. No shit. Yeah, Maryland. Yeah. Um, DC. yeah. Earthquake. Earthquake. You said Earthquake. You know, that's my boy. Earthquake. That's yeah. my favorite comic. So yeah. he come out of DC. You ever so, met yeah. him? Oh, uh, one time. Yeah. Yeah, met him once. Had Word. a smoke out with him. He cool. As what? Him. Yeah, smoke with that boy, man. Put yeah, him he. On it. He was pretty chill when um I opened up for him for him and Lunell, at, in El Paso. Word. I wish I knew now what I, I wish I knew then what I know now. Like, I just did a crappy performance. Okay. I, I felt like I was just a little bit too tight. I wasn't loose enough. And then, um, like, being around names like that, too, especially, like, at the beginning, right? That'll always make you tight. You feel me? Like, you, you around Lunel and Earthquake. Yeah, you know, and like, I think I ate a little edible right before. <laughs> 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 she gave me a little uh, Lunel. Lunel's cool. We actually got to kick it with Lunel. Yeah, yeah, Lou cool. We kicked it with her, like, the whole day, and she's yeah. hilarious. Yeah, yeah, she cool. Um, Earthquake, he... So, so Lunell and I did a promotion, almost like a, a promo. We're out there signing whatever, 
pe- people, a lot of people there knew her. They wanted pictures with her and stuff. And I had a couple fans and shit. But it was like at the BX in the ba- on the base. So it was like a little, imagine a little Mervin's on a base mm. with a bunch of soldiers coming in shopping. And they're just like randomly walking by like, <laughs> what is this? <laughs> oh, shit, it's Lunel from Borat. <laughs> they ain't know it was a sign, a, a sign of meet and greet. Yeah, right exactly. Right the joint. And we kicked it with her, and uh, and she actually DM'd me the other day because she saw a video of us in uh, D- in uh, Dallas. Okay, it was our first weekend back, and a lot of comedians have, especially California-based comics. They want to know New what's York. going on. They want to know, yeah, yeah, that you know, coming out and all that. Like, yeah, everything. What what do we expect? Yeah. But uh, have you been back on stage since? Man, I've I've been back on stage uh, three times since. No uh, shit. Since Texas opened up at twenty five percent. Where, where'd you go? Yeah, I did uh, Houston Improv the first weekend they opened up uh, a Saturday show, and that was dope. Um, and then I've done at, two That Saturdays. was at 25? Yeah, that was at 25%. Then How the was next it? week, uh, it was cool. It was still packed to the back. Like, the way they set it up, uh, it's it's not, I mean, it's holes in the room, but that's only because of the space of yeah, the tables. Yeah, and they're yeah. they not allowing holes in the room because of the people. Yeah, so yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. they spreading them out. Everybody, you know, they had it all the way to the back tier. I think we had like, 125 people in there That's to the great. third tier, so they spread it out. You can still hear the laughter. It looked, mm-hmm. it felt, you know, felt weird at first, but you know, once you got it going. Well, shit, I've done some great. open mics where I, I can't even complain about. Man, it's right, only, <laughs> right. What right. you mean, 50 percent capacity? Like, come on, bro. It was nine yeah. people that one time. <laughs> right, right, right. So, um, so yeah, so and then the uh, the secret group, you know, they opened back up, did two Saturday shows over there, and they've been dope. So yeah, slowly. Only on the weekends I've been getting out though, man. And Secret Group was that a weekend or? Uh, they've been open every night, doing comedy every night. Every night, uh, from what I understand, yeah. But I've only been on on Friday and Saturday. I have I have not hit up the open mic scene, and um. Yeah, I hadn't I hadn't hit the open mics. I hadn't hit anything open mic. It's been you know pretty much three shows. You know? I'm gonna have to say that that time I rather this is just for me. No offense to the open mic scene. Yeah. <laughs> I rather use that time to like studio time you know what i mean yeah. or sketch time or write some ideas for in, for instagram video idea like yeah. something uh only because this is the main reason i feel like i'm on a i'm on a roll <laughs> from the addison improv right right you know and yeah, i don't yeah. want to hurt my confidence <laughs> going back and, and even <laughs> even if it ain't the jokes it's the number of people that might be there you know what oh, I'm saying? yeah it's like you just came came from you know how like many right shows now y'all hey, do out there? it's like I, i'm i'm fragile right now my confidence is good i can't you. i can't fuck with it but yeah I, I don't think i don't really i hadn't even seen any open mic nights pop up you know what i mean it's all pr- been pretty much shows and showcases from what i've seen uh-huh. um you know what i mean but even then it's just like it's iffy, bro. You know what I mean? It's, it's all depending on who calling and, 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 and shit like that. I ain't jumping on everything at this moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. worth it. Exactly. You know Especially when, you know, the C is still out there. He's still out there, dog. You know what I mean? He's still out there. A hoodie in the summertime. He out there. <laughs> <laughs> he is out there, player. We actually have um, Corpus Christi coming up. And, okay. Um, but all of our California cities uh, shows have been wiped out. And and we bounce, you know what I mean? We we pivot. We're pivoting, so you're gonna see us hitting Laredo again, hitting mm. El Paso again. Got We're gonna it, yeah. be back actually with Bart Reed at the comic strip. Okay, okay, yeah. okay. And right. um just hitting up, you know Do you uh, know any Cali comics? Oh, I mean you know uh um uh, uh I know a bunch of yeah. I mean Cali. what's my man you know who I'm saying. Well about. Jerry Garcia. Jerry. Yeah, yeah, Jerry, yeah. How is he hanging how is he hanging out there in LA? Man from the outside looking in, California is 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 a little bit behind texas in terms of opening back up mm. so what you well, they're just, not doing no comedy at all out there. i don't think so and yeah. a lot of the clubs i'm assuming i don't know all the economics of it but i'm sure some of the clubs might be like okay we want to open up just for our staff but uh-huh. but really we ain't making no money right, right right and a lot of times they're probably trying to negotiate with the landlord <clears throat> if they have a landlord most of them do and a la- i told marisol i was like the last thing i want to see is any mom and pop or chain comedy club just getting hit to the point to where they're like guys you yeah, know what i mean we've same, seen yeah. i've seen clubs come and go and i haven't yeah. been in as long as uh, yeah. as yourself 
Yeah, nah, it's definitely a fragile business. So for for, for the Houston for the Texans improv that's opened up, man, like props, props. You know what I mean? I don't know. I don't know how many clubs open. We were supposed to be in Chicago this weekend, so Chicago improv not opened up. So and it's not all of them not mm. open. You know what I mean? And you know what? Props to the to the Texas comedy clubs because it's dope to turn on uh, a big podcast, a major podcast, mm-hmm. and they're just going in talking about, I love shit, I can't, I wanna move to Austin. Yeah. And what's up with Dallas? And Houston's a little bit yeah, too hot, yeah, yeah. but you know, and uh, like Brennan Schaub and uh, Brian Callen came to the Houston Improv probably the week after you Yeah, the week after we did it, yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, and I heard it, I heard it was bananas in there that weekend. They and just sold this it past out. weekend, so yeah. Yeah, they sold yeah. it up. I didn't go, nah, nah, I just seen pictures and talked to a few people that, you know what I mean? Yeah. I don't know if, if comics i hadn't even been up there because i don't know if we can just hang out you know what uh, i mean at this point yeah you know what i mean when you you know we used to just going up there kind of just hanging out but i don't want to just go hang out <laughs> and fuck around bring some home I'm, I'm still in somebody you know what i mean ticket you know i'm just in there oh, or yeah. they tell me hey B, we can't even really come in yeah. i'd rather just stay away and wait you know what i mean to you know whatever yeah you know what but um the feedback was great addison improv it was so good to be back on stage so, um, so yeah midnight uh, yeah, we midnight. had Midnight and Luis. Luis Juarez. Luis. That's mm-hmm. dope. Yeah, that's dope, man. But it, it, I miss those guys, you know. I know the whole, I, I know the, the, the I just kicking missed it all was, my yeah. comedy friends. I missed the crowds. I missed the feedback. Like, I really started doubting myself. I was just like, okay, man, I'm, am, are all my jokes lame? Like, <laughs> do I even have it anymore? And, uh, that time away at you. Yeah, <laughs> you started really doubting yourself. Yeah, man. Yeah, I, I, man. It took me about two weeks to realize. When when you you know we heard it, it took me about two weeks. I was in a bummer, G. Like, I couldn't, I ain't want to talk. I couldn't do stand up. It took me about two weeks to re- you know. So you were like borderline depressed and yeah, shit. Yeah, damn near. Like damn, well, you know that's the bread, that's yeah, the money maker, yeah, right? So yeah. you know you're taking away the money, and then it's like an outlet. You feel Creative me? expression. Like, yeah, it's like four nights out the week, five. You know that's that's something that I'm doing. Yeah. G. So it took me about two weeks, but then I started you know getting getting uh, on the script writing the, yeah. the skits and all that. And, p- and flooded in there so that that's taking an, another little lane of itself right there so this wednesday by the time this shit i don't know by the time this podcast is up which will be after probably around june 10th or after june 10th go pre-order pick it up stream it yeah uh it's called side betting side betting yeah the comedy album comedy album. yeah it's uh like 35 minutes uh so it ain't too long for you you know what i'm saying it's all funny I'm happy with it, bro. Like, and, and you know, I'm my hardest on that critic, critic shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, man, I've actually listened to it like three times. That's and great. I don't even do shit. You know what I mean? Like, listen to myself. That's awesome. Know? Even with the skits, I watch them when I'm editing and put it out today, and I don't even watch yeah. the shit no more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but I listen to the album like two or three times. That's like, awesome. That shit sounds good as hell. Like, <clears throat> Side betting comedy yeah. album. You put it out independently. Yeah, yeah. I linked up with a uh, with a label in Austin. Uh, go buy a sure thing records mm-hmm. they like a smaller indie they do all comedy albums no shit uh, yeah yeah that's all, all they that's focus all on they, yeah all they focus wow. on um they got like eight albums eight albums under their belt so they're pretty good at it though. <laughs> yeah 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 they man shit i'm happy with it you know what i mean the split was dope i own the joint you know what yeah. i mean i can still take it to wherever i want to take it you could always animate it act, yeah i can do act, yeah, pretty act much wherever out. i want to do it it's still mine you know what spin I mean? spin it off turn it yeah, turn it into yeah. a sketch show so yeah it, it was cool for my my first go around to learn it and yeah. see you know yeah. if the, on the next one if i mm-hmm. want to take it and put it on my own umbrella what i need to do you know they they were pretty hands-on and showing me everything sometimes Shout depend out. yeah depending on um how a studio or a label or a company depending on like the expertise and what they bring to the table yeah. sometimes and, and as long as i've been in the game and as as hard-headed and stubborn and how i like to be so uh hands-on and control freak i really believe that nine times i don't know about nine times a lot of times it's good to collaborate yeah with others because even if that project even if you choose to move on and, and you know in, a, in different directions you can always learn from like collaborating and yeah, they yeah, might yeah. be good at a certain department and and that's know. what and that's exactly what i needed with this one because i'm not you know i'm not the one to get online and and do the research on how to get it uploaded on this and who yeah, i yeah. need to talk to learning to curve yeah. yeah it's how like, do I promote man, bro, it? that's what y'all that's what y'all do all right y'all do that and the split sound like i say the split good i ain't losing no bread i'm actually you know what i mean i ain't you know 
go ahead take that and get, and get mm-hmm. your 10 percent or whatever you know what i mean mm-hmm. off of that mm-hmm. and i can rock with that you know what hell I mean? yeah i can rock with that all day so hell yeah I'll, I'll rock with those guys <laughs> hey I'm, I'm gonna need that info <laughs> i got you man i got you yeah yeah because because you know what though like like i was telling you before we started recording um i've been working in some new stuff so the stuff that i filtered out Honestly, I don't know how much material that is, but that might be thirty minutes. It beat that man, bro. Of stuff that yeah. I'm just no longer. And, that, and that's really what. That's another reason why I did the album. It's like starting to move around to these different cities. It's like, you know, we we pride ourselves on coming in with a fresh act, or you know, at least half of it, right? And then the other half, you might have added some shit it's from the last mm-hmm. time they seen it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You know what I mean? But you, I feel like just gonna force me to not even. I can't do that shit. It's on wax now. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Motherfuckers who got it is like, man, you yeah. say that shit on the album. Yeah, like beef. Yeah, keep yeah. it on. Let's keep it on <laughs> you know wax. What I mean? So it, it, it's forcing me to kind of get yeah. back in there and write some fresh yeah. shit. Really write some fresh shit, yeah. not just tag some shit. And, yeah. And I know, you know, they, they might not know it, it's, it's old, but I know that shit. You know, I yeah. know that shit old. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. So now it's whole new perspectives, whole new storylines and shit. Were you, do you have a lot of new stuff post corona? uh i was man so post corona i had recorded the album in in uh in december so corona march so i was i was writing dog i had a good i probably had a a, probably about 10 minutes you know what i mean or some shit Mm -hmm. that i was happy Mm -hmm. with Mm -hmm. out of all the shit i was writing about 10 minutes you know what i mean kind of funneling it in yeah you know but shit i mean with the corona just sitting down with with the virus like i don't write a lot but the shit that i'm writing I'm, i'm liking it and yeah. I don't know if it's because I, I ain't been on stage to say this yeah, shit, but yeah. it's uh-huh. like it's some fresh shit. Man, how was parenting during all of this for you? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you got another, another, I got baby, another on the way. baby on the way. On so the I'm way. Congratulations. With a and a pregnant. Yeah, so, bro, it's, it's cool, man. So but you had no comedy. No you had a comedy, pregnant wife, pregnant wife, and a baby at home, and a five-year-old homeschooling. <laughs> <laughs> Can't leave, and, and my wife ain't letting me go outside at all, bro. I'm, yeah, I got to do everything that day. It ain't like you know I'm jumping up. I can go to the store. Nah, Wednesday is your day. You go to the grocery store. You yeah. whatever you got to do, do it all on Wednesday. Yeah. Cause your ass ain't leaving this house. How, how many months <laughs> is, is your wife? Uh, shit, I don't know. I know the baby here in October. Okay, so however, we'll, we'll, we'll do some <laughs> I think math. We're halfway there, huh? October. Yeah, yeah, which understandable. But yeah, I, yeah, I wasn't. I was in the house, dog. I can backyard and garage. That's it. Uh, it'd be early October, so Libra. Yeah. Oh yeah, my soul's a Libra. Libra. Yeah. Oh, where? All right, we doing she, some research. We don't like, know. Well, I know one now. I know you a Libra, so I do know a Libra. But we we were trying to figure out like who do we know that's Libra? Oh uh, yeah, our, our baby. Where? Really so what's dope is I'm a Leo. My uh Taryn. I'm a Leo, Taryn, Virgo, and the baby be Libra, Libra so we back to back to back. Yeah. Right. Doot, doot, doot. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. That's August. July, August. I don't want a September baby. You know what Yeah, because <laughs> yeah. both, both of my daughters are July. I'm August. Mighty mm-hmm. Soul is October. So I guess you put that. Yeah. September. Yeah, yeah, still get that Libra feel. I feel you. I wanted my baby to get that Leo feel. She right on the right on the cusp of it, August twenty fifth. Well, I'm August twenty third, so yeah. I'm, I'm literally on the cusp. You re- yeah, see, she so I'm days. like I'm a I'm like the first day of Virgo. I was trying to get it up, man. She was late. First day she of Virgo. Come, she ain't want to come. I'm finna throw up the she cumbia. Warm and shit. Yeah, she <laughs> she was comfortable, dog. That's what's up. Uh, my little two year old. Well, when are we we haven't found the uh, day for the birthday, but if y'all are free. Uh, when are we? Penny's birthday is around July. So you might as well grab another mic because <laughs> scream it this way. Joe. Okay. We need a third okay. mic for the next. Uh, I'll let y'all episode. know. Yeah, yeah. I'll, let me know. Yeah, y'all put it together. Let me know. June. Yeah. A month. A month out. But we need a third mic, Joe. Mm, we, <laughs> they're not gonna hear anything you said baby um <laughs> anyway i'm trying to invite y'all to penny's birthday, no birthday. Definitely, definitely and uh penny is gonna turn two and she already bullies uh my <laughs> other baby that's turning 12. nah she just yo yo older baby no she gotta do whatever the little sister say but she's too old to have a blankie <laughs> and penny becoming like my blankie my and she just let her take it my and she we, we want Penny to learn Spanish. That's like a big, big deal for Marisol and myself. And uh, 
but she's learning English with a Mexican accent. <laughs> so she's like, fai. She'll be like, uno, dos, tres, cuatro, fai. That's it's like, baby, put a V in it, fai. That's and then when she takes the blanket, she'll be like, my. She won't say mine. My and and we figured it out. It's like a housekeeper. Huh? It's because the nanny. <laughs> yeah, she talked just like the housekeeper because she's like, oh, I'm learning English. Uh, I'm a teacher English. I'm a teacher. We're like, no, 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 Luis. Y'all, we, y'all should be learning. We the same we time. speak we English. <laughs> we citizens. We from here. We're gonna That's teach her. Like, fight. Yeah, fight. <laughs> okay. Is it gonna turn off or anything? But yeah, man, great, great to see you, man. Great to hang with you. Thanks. Yeah, for, bro. Yeah, we we just hanging out. This is a new setup. I like it, man. I need to uh see what, what this light, man. I've been seeing the pictures of it, but it's, it's dope up front. You know. Yeah, I mean? they um I think Mighty Soul found a place where uh we don't know quality wise, but it was way yeah. more affordable than how we right, got right, it. Right, right, right. So I'm like, shit. Next one we up. get, we got to go with that new plug. Yeah. Really um, good. and yeah, then we time. might we might even clear all this shit out and put like maybe the couch or something in case we have basically do like a corner setup and then we tilt the camera uh but we're trying to get it together for all the man, listeners you're gonna get it dog you're gonna we're trying get to it, make dog. sure it's visually set up properly you know we're gonna make sure we put your social media thing like a little graphic mm. we're doing all of it <laughs> <laughs> but uh what, what next cities you have coming up man so right now um this is all texas right now until until august um man i'm so yeah on just huge yeah i'm just really focused yeah it's like really it's the closest and it's you know it's right you know it's the money right now so i got austin in a few weeks uh you, we where, where you at Con- uh oh. this spot in austin is called handovers okay it's like a nightclub joint you know Ooh. what i mean so we we going into the night we going back into the nightclub the no bar, shit. you know the high-end and little, it's, little is you headlining yeah headlining uh-huh. that joint yeah man so we got that uh, some Houston dates. Check the social media, man. Yeah. yeah, just on my Instagram and shit. I put all the little dates on there. Hell I yeah, be, man. I don't be remembering all that shit up top. G. So, so you had to homeschool. I had uh, to homeschool a five year old because my wife essential. You know, she a central worker. Oh so they need her. shit! So <laughs> it was like, just you. <laughs> so yeah, G. Uh, First grade, here she come. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> it was just me, dog. You know what I mean? Well, like, you know what. She, she she listens to you she's pretty well yeah no nah, she was cool bro it, it was it was actually a lot smoother yeah than the jokes i wrote i wrote you know what i mean like honestly it was cool i was able to you know what i mean see some shit see some progression that i'm happy to be like oh shit, i did that uh, uh-huh. i helped her with that like uh. oh she know those words because the times i was sitting yeah there reading or, we learn those can, together you know <laughs> yeah you know what i mean yeah you feel me subtraction and addition now she can do all that shit, you know what I mean? Oh, Double so you numbers. like, so you went in yeah, on we the school? In, yeah, yeah, I went in, dog. I ain't gonna bullshit you. So did yeah. you have like a set schedule? What was the routine? What, um, so the school district they emailed like some little lessons, uh-huh. and then you know little shit I put on my put my own little spin on. Yeah, you, yeah. You know what I mean? Look, this put your own look, little spin. I don't, I don't you know care I mean? how they you teach. Know, yeah, yeah, yeah. They'll you know brought all the little weed, you know measurements. You know what I mean? This <laughs> eighth right here. Yeah. This is three, you know what See, I mean? You shit, like, this is these. seven right here. These are the ones you eyeball right here. Yeah. This See, Denver, shit like that. Denver price is different. <laughs> <laughs> nah, well, you know, we did some little math shit, bro. I, I mixed it in a little bit. Fractions. So, <laughs> fractions, all that, half Man. and holes. You know what I mean? <laughs> so she'll know how she need to do when she need to get there. You know? She's only it's five. It's all progression, my dog. She's only five, but she's Only ahead. five, but she can tell you. She'll eyeball you some shit. Man. If that... I ain't there, that's who giving the niggas a sack. <laughs> <laughs> hey, props, props to you because my my eldest daughter she's to the age where she kind of i didn't really have to every once in a while she'd have a question like okay uh-huh. i don't understand this one it doesn't make sense or i think it's c it could yeah, it be yeah. b whatever but she was kind of doing it on her own she's like hey I, hey dad i'm done with science i just gotta do whatever else next and i'm done or i'm caught up for the week or whatever so i i didn't really have to be all in so i can only imagine if she was five or six yeah. well I, I she definitely not gonna fuck with me I <laughs> if i gotta continue to be a teacher we probably wouldn't be best friend because i know i'm a hard teacher dog it's like uh, uh, my patience you know like pay attention yeah you yeah, know yeah, what yeah. i mean you know just you know you two plus two you know two plus two so it's like it's simple to you right because yeah, you yeah you memorize so to them it's like because two plus two you know whatever the problem yeah. may be you know what yeah. i mean so just that but uh but yeah she, she i don't think she she don't fuck with me as a teacher like that she, <laughs> she don't enjoy it that's bad i don't, ass, think, I don't think she enjoy it she like the fact that she kicking it with me and, shit yeah. and i'm there but man nah, what I'm, about what about on the re- <laughs> on not not to get in your business but like i know on the relationship front i heard because me and mighty soul honestly man we literally feel like 
I think everybody got hit with this curveball. Yeah. Right. Everybody got hit with this fucking wake up call of like, <laughs> hey, man, I, I know whatever it, it is you think you had planned, that but that ain't happened. the plan. <laughs> no more. Uh, we we're rescheduling everything. Yeah. And I, one of the good things about it is that it felt like we really needed that pause. Not that I was sleeping in or nothing, but it's like like even today, man, just prior to this. We still going through these storage units like we still we have yeah. so many just like props or I, I had those speakers I bought when I first started comedy and I thought I was going to have to take a PA system. And yeah, I didn't know yeah, what kind yeah. of venues I was going to be doing. It's like they're sitting in there and oh, I need a spotlight in case I got a show and they ain't got one stupid shit before I got into clubs. But um, like I felt like we kind of needed that pause a little bit. And then we just started going live and we I just started agree. prioritizing and just like other things, you know, uh, other things went up, you know what I mean? Like your social media and just you just being more personable, you know what I mean? Cause you had to, Yeah. you know what I mean? Like Going shit after three shit. days, hey, I'll jump on this phone. We got to talk to somebody, god damn. Yeah. What's up y'all, what's y'all, you know, yeah, now motherfuckers know you more. Yeah, Zooms zoom. and all that, you know what I mean? For me, the album, I was able to really sit down and really put the play together that I wanted to, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? All the promo that I've been doing, mm -hmm. um, the, the merch t-shirt that I got coming with the shit. I, I was able to do everything that I wanted to do because I had that time to sit my ass down and really mm -hmm. focus on it and put the play together how I wanted yeah. to do it. You know, otherwise, man, I would have been on the road every other weekend, or every weekend, <clears throat> or the one night is with you through the week, coming back mm -hmm. home, just putting the shit together. It wouldn't yeah. have been as well packaged as it mm -hmm. is. Like, you know what I mean? That's one thing I'm hearing. You know, nigga ain't even heard the shit yet, but that shit look live. Yeah. yeah don't yeah, get I'm, that high sound. The mother, we paying for the look. Guys. Yeah, the, the artwork look. was, you feel was me? dope. Like, yeah, we put that shit together. Yeah. We had time to. You did a photo shoot, or how did that No, nah, I had my man, Lakeem. Uh, he from Dallas, but he live in Austin. So mm -hmm. everybody who has something to do with the album got Austin ties, because I'm mm -hmm. from, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So he drew it. I gave him like a little idea, and he put that shit together, hand drew the album cover. Uh, painted that motherfucker whatever whatever them artists they yeah, do with that some shit. computer shit yeah whatever they do you know what i mean and put that shit together for me um the back cover you know what i mean mm -hmm. so yeah dog that, yeah what um how's bruce doing man are you man, in the good. road with him yeah yeah so i you know i talk to bruce like once a week man he just you know he an old millionaire dog he chilling yeah <laughs> he chilling bro yeah. he ready to get he, back to he, work though he needed that quarantine he needed right? that yeah i think i think he really you know he's sitting back man on yeah. on some leather shit yeah, because you know, man, reclined. rest, you know rest, I mean? rest is so important. Man. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. He's I mean, chilling, but he ready to get back out. He definitely ready to get back out, but he ain't in no rush. He count with shit counts about five five weekends from June through July. We would have been gone. Counseling like man, shit, I ain't get back out there. Find you something, B. <laughs> like I'll be all right. I'm crying and shit. Yeah, yeah, what yeah. You mean you counseling yeah. five more, nigga? Hey man, we were in the same boat. <laughs> I, I, I was literally looking at like just okay. Yeah, yeah. I think I had yeah. Yes, yeah, so I no had San about Angelo, four or five ain't, days. Ain't with no you. Midland, ain't no Abilene, ain't no, <laughs> uh, ain't no Oxnard, well, no hurt, Ontario. Man. It hurt, but shit, like I say, I was able to really sit down, and uh, I feel like I'm developing a good online. You know, with the skits, the one, mm -hmm. that one guy, you know, the little baby skits, boy. Doing, baby boy, like, you know what I mean? I'm I, developing that. I like the one about the, uh, the dog and shit. Oh yeah. <laughs> there's, some, there's some funny ones. Motherfuckers always do that shit when they, they cause you ain't scared of dogs. Yeah, he a puppy. Yeah, just go a, back there, bro. He ain't gonna fuck with you. Yeah, yeah. So let, it's just all, you. yeah, yeah. It's, you know, the skits, you know, they about, it's really about, it's about me. It's a little shit that I do. The homies, you know what I mean? And just into a character. That yeah. one friend we got, and you always like, if you sit and think about it, you're like, why do I even fuck with him, dog? You know, yeah. he lie all the time. Yeah. He really ain't shit. You know what I mean? Like, he gonna leave me hanging. Yeah. Man, but for we, some reason, I kick it with this dude all the time. I, I'm working on a, uh, a music project, and uh, I'm, I don't know what the theme is gonna be in terms of skits, but uh, we should definitely, like, I'll let you know when I'm in the studio. And uh, there's yeah, one, exactly. there's, there's one over on your side. Okay. So okay. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and book some time over there, and then figure, make sure it fits with your schedule. And then we could, we could fucking freestyle yeah, a couple definitely, skits. Definitely, definitely. Uh, yeah. That's how. That's really how I started. Yeah. Definitely. Like in all the music stuff, I literally would like volunteer. Like, hey man, I know how to do a voice like this. I know how to do this Word. kind of character. And they'd be <laughs> like, what? Let, let me just try some. I got this idea. <laughs> And then they'd be like, "Yeah, yeah we'll, we'll keep it. I like it." Put and the dope shit about it is, the shit that just fall out, out of the out of the sky sometimes. Like the the voice of him, it's like I accidentally 
push the speed button on the voice. Oh, that's how it came. Yeah, up. and it was yeah. like, oh shit, that shit, I like that. And it's it funny. Just, Went the, from there, the you know what I mean? The high pitch, and then it's, it's me saying the voice, but it's different from my regular and, and, and that boy, you know what I mean? So I'm shooting a short film with him, oh, writing yeah. it, directing it. I shot yeah, some, yeah. shot a couple of scenes this past weekend, so hopefully I can have that no drop shit. in July. Yeah, Hell I think I'm yeah. hopefully uh, top of July, man. Uh, what kind of crew are you? How like how big of a setup? You got man, like so audio man, guy. so um, we own a budget productions around here, you know bro. So we got we got four, we got three iPhones. We got the road Hell mic on yeah. the on the iPhone. Hell yeah, with um, an adapter on that bitch. Yeah, 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 yeah. And we got a uh, tripod. We are gonna set them up so we can get all angles. Mm -hmm. Um, we gonna edit it on the on Adobe, and shooting it on Filmic Pro. You know what I mean? So we shoot it on Filmic. Yeah, Pro. through the iPhone. It's this little camera app. Uh, uh -huh. It's dope, bro. It's kind of like a Canon. And it makes uh, it look different. Phone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's dope. It's like with Have a lot you heard of, of that? Uh, a lot of short film. Cat. I did a lot of research on it. Like a lot of people use Filmic Pro. Film it pro. Yeah, download the app on your shit. And so basically, you use your different, iPhone. Um, different filters uh, or look filters. Lenses. No, different lenses. Yeah, so you can oh, go to the wide. You can go to the close up. So uh, you just like set it before you shoot it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and it gives it like a, a depth of field yeah, and depth all of that. Field. You can you uh, do all that shit by yourself. So it ends up being so. It, so basically, it's software that uses some kind of little algorithm to mimic the lens. The lens, right, right, right. Yeah, the shit dope. It's like fourteen ninety nine. You you buy it. Uh, oh, it's one not, time. Uh, never buy. mind. I mean, it ain't, it ain't <laughs> monthly though. Oh, yeah, it ain't yeah. monthly at all. I mean, this is right here though. This shit dope. Yeah, shit man, dope. you know what? I got some scripts. We fucking around <laughs> you know shoot I mean? this motherfucker. Yeah, so you know what I mean. So like, if you want to change your little, your joint, you know, you blow your joint out. Oh, that's like a sharpen it, focus. You know what I mean? Change your little uh, low, like IP, a uh, IPO, yeah, IPA, whatever that shit called. You know what I wow. mean? Even go to your lenses right here. Yeah, this shit dope, man. I spent that a few days fucking fuck with this shit. Telescopic. Telling lens. you got the zoom joint. You got your selfie. You know, you got oh, your wow. wide. So yeah, we shoot the joint on that. And this is a short, it's a short, you know what I mean? Like five minutes long. Man, technology, bro. Uh, I was talking to Country Wayne. He said what he does is he writes all his video ideas mm. and then he'll take a Sunday. I want to do this shit. And as simple as it sounds, man, I got, man. I, I just, my, I don't know if I'm just a space cadet. Or I'm all over the fucking this place, shit, but nah, it's like, it's, it's, I got a podcast. I got on tour. I got this going. I'm trying to do music. Cause motherfuckers are like, yeah, it's we crazy want. how you juggle it all. But if you sit and think about like, how the fuck am I doing all this yeah. shit? It's no I'm answer songs. to it. G. I just did a sketch. It's no answer to it. It's just, <laughs> it's the Leo is the, you know what I mean? Whatever in us to make us just right. like, bro, I'm literally, I, I, <laughs> I'm doing a short, I'm filming this motherfucker. By my, I'm doing the act and I'm doing a voiceover. And like I see why Martin went crazy when he did Thin Line. <laughs> <laughs> the nigga wrote, directed, and acting in his own shit. Like, oh okay, goodness. you go crazy trying to set the camera up and lay down and do your lines and then jump up and stop that motherfucker and then go yeah. back and look at I'm it. I'm really curious. <laughs> I'm really curious. It's it's interesting you bring that up because I wonder how much of that was mental health. You know, now we talk about mental health. Everybody. A lot of shit on your plate. You know every I mean? yeah everybody now is like oh well you know trauma and you know trauma you know sometimes you need therapy and yeah, you know sometimes yeah. you got meditating a lot of shit on your plate new problems come with with new bread stress, stress. and and uh me and my homie joe today we were talking about um joe's getting into this shit called taoism how do you say it? taoism mm. taoism i guess it's like a eastern philosophy or something uh -huh. i was telling him about stoicism which is an ancient like greek or roman philosophy where you could look at it as a um, what do they call it? A operating system to manage high stress situations. Okay. So it's basically little wisdom, like you know, only worry about the shit you can control, the shit okay. out of little your phrases control. Okay. You just it keep, it's keep, basically you like replaying your mind. Little philosophies. It's right. like, hey, you're gonna die one day, so take advantage of every day and just remember some of the shit ain't gonna matter. Just quote it throughout to Stuff yourself like throughout that. the day. Keep keep you on the right little low energy path. Right? Yeah, and I don't even know how the fuck I got on this subject. But but Martin and um I'm really curious, has he I don't know if he's talked about like, well I was on this or or no man, it's some shit I can't tell you, like some yeah. Hollywood shit. Or um, I was stressed the fuck out. It, I, well, I mean, on that, uh, what is it, Run Tell That, he kind of got into it a little bit. So you probably have to go back. And oh, yeah, he yeah, said yeah, he, yeah. he was he smoked something. Smoke, or yeah, he said it was it was the weed he smoked. But I, it was, man, all that shit stressed. And that's why, bro, like, I really have no desire to be like this big motherfucking Hollywood star. Like, I, I'm so glad that I'm so comfortable at my own pace, G. 
Uh-huh. You know what I mean? Like, I don't rush shit. Yeah. You feel me? Like, and I'm yeah. glad I'm comfortable with that. Like, you know what I mean? Like, motherfuckers can be doing all type of shit, and it really don't matter to me because I don't pay attention to shit that I don't have nothing to do with. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's like, what, that's and I'm real happy that I'm like that, G. That's, you know, everybody ain't like that. Some motherfuckers see Chingo got the podcast, they'll go crazy because they shit ain't. Like, I ain't paying attention enough to really have feelings towards what motherfuckers doing because I'm, I'm so focused on what fuck I got going on and what I want to do, G. <laughs> And it's not, you know, and it don't have to be on this big major yeah. conglomerate ass platform of whatever. Man, I mean, that's I'll be cool doing comedy clubs and, and some in theaters yeah. here and there. My yes. shit, my own show though. Hell yeah. Mm-hmm. And that'd be cool for me, bro. Cause in within that, that's goddamn four vacations a year, a nice crib, a couple cars, uh-huh. and everybody dressing nice, you know, smoking good weed and we yeah. good. Yeah, Family because straight. Cause ultimately, ultimately, man that's really what it's all about everybody has to define success their way and no matter what somebody always gonna have more money at a newer car or the bigger house or whatever but shit, i know one thing the quarantine taught me is like it don't really take much <laughs> to make me happy <laughs> it don't G. like in a way like when it re- when you really boil it down as long as i got some weed some coffee some tea <laughs> some wine my family, my family we could bro, go I'm, for walks i'm really good G. yeah if i could do some burpees push-ups some kind of exercise uh find a way to be creative i can make beats i yeah, can still reach yeah. i can Your still head broadcast. above water you know you got a little chain store for the bills uh-huh. and shit. you ain't got that no worries yeah. on that end man yeah. i don't need too much you know yeah. what i mean like i say bro so my little old road to where i'm trying to go it it's not a you know i ain't trying to sell or out in a stadium and all that shit. Yeah, if it yeah. come that's cool yeah but i ain't gonna kill myself trying to get to yeah. that motherfucking destination yeah you're not gonna like my destination gonna be so it's gonna be within mm-hmm. my reach but it's gonna be enough to where yeah. motherfuckers gonna fuck and with that, feel it. that's a great system because you i've always seen that in you and i've always respected that that your confidence and your security in yourself is not dictated by someone else's opinion. Yeah, like, yeah. you know what's right for you, and you know the type of jokes you want to put out and how you want to move and operate. And um, and I see how much you sacrifice, too. Like, you do a lot of traveling. You know, you, you play the long game. You, you're strategizing. You're juggling. And, um, you know, like the whole thing about I'm not going to kill myself trying to reach a certain stadium destination and the, that's very wise because what happens is people forego happiness because they always feel like they chasing some it's, shit. it's over there. Yeah, yeah, the grass yeah. always greener. Or some shit if I could just, just have, you know, the new thing that just came out. And if I could just be able to be on Instagram showing how I'm in Bora Bora by the island of yeah, such and, and such. Then just, instead of just, you know, what I mean, just enjoying where you at in the process yeah. of it. Gee, like I'm happy. Like, yeah, I wish I can be I can have more shows on my own um do i wish i didn't have to depend on being on the road with uh, with bruce and even you at yeah. uh, to a certain extent so mm-hmm. much hell yeah but at the same time i ain't working in the warehouse no more yeah. Yeah. you know what i mean i ain't got to sell the weed here and there you know what i mean it's allegedly it's, it's all within allegedly <laughs> it's allegedly. all within yeah. you know what i mean what what what's what's going on right now g it's better than it was goddamn last year exactly it's progress yeah, yeah it's probably you got it you got to um, really accept all that and be happy for all the little progress what i told joe uh earlier we we're moving shit around the storage i told him i was like joe because uh, he brought up um i showed him this old album that came out like in 07 <clears throat> and uh it came out through major distribution i was telling joe how like you know it was just mixed emotions with that project and uh you know, there's ups and downs and there's curves and they got the U.S. recession and mm-hmm. record stores shutting down and you you you, you dodging. Yeah, you dodging several pandemics, what it, it seems like at the time. And I told Joe, I was like, regardless of all the loops and I went left when I couldn't have went right. And, you know, I chose to go this way and I, I turned that down and I yeah. wanted to do this. And I felt in my heart I, I really wanted to do this path and whatever, whatever. I ended up in a perfect, perfect place, <laughs> man. Like I love my little family. I love my life. I l- absolutely, yeah, yeah. I no absolutely. Tell what, you probably would have been one of these motherfuckers trying to chase the hit at this time. You know what I mean? Yeah, like in the studio, it. like, yeah, like yeah. we got to make another, yeah, woo, or another whatever it Follow was. Up, the sophomore you album. You feel me? But I love my job. Like first of all, on this podcast. You know, this podcast isn't necessarily profitable yet, yeah. you know, because I, I might have to reach out to some sponsors and shit like that. But I absolutely love it. I love the feedback we get from it. I appreciate everyone that listens. Um, stand up. 
as a job, I get to go on stage and talk shit, talk shit. and make people laugh. <laughs> and then people come to me after the show and they're just like, yo, I fucking needed that, bro. Yeah, they, shit. Yeah. Hey, man, you doing your thing. Hey, man, that shit was funnier than they want to take know some what. home that you <laughs> can't create it, bro. All that shit, man. That man, shit. I'm going to tell a friend, man. My, my friend's <laughs> missed out. I ain't, man, it's my first time seeing you. Damn. And I cannot put a price on that. It is just. Yeah, bro. <sighs> that, I love yeah. it. Yeah, che- that, cheers, man. That last dude. little bit of. Uh, Little, little yeah. uh, whiskey. It's, some, it's all right right here. You know I got mean? that from uh, Slade. Um, at, oh, they, Slade, yeah. They, they whiskey drinkers over there, dog. Yeah. That's all they do. I had to, I had to tell him, like, two-shot limit because that's what they do. You go to the podcast. Yeah. And you, just you know what? The whiskey and I've shit. had a lot of fun on his podcast. Yeah, um, it was cool. I've done it one time. I zoomed in. Uh, I zoomed in on another project he's doing. But um, um, I don't know if he's podcasting. Um, at the moment, like in person, yeah, I'm not. But sure. Reach yeah, out yeah. to him, man. Yeah. Reach out, yeah, to yeah. Him. I definitely need to get on there. And and, and also, I have people. um, I have some homies in Cali. Um, they have podcasts. I don't know if they're doing Zoom podcasts. Okay, but I'm gonna see if I could plug you in. It, and, and, and maybe I'll plant that seed. Like you know, you could crank out more episodes with some of these. Texas yeah, yeah, comments. yeah. Definitely, 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 definitely. Uh, let and every- my, like shit. I, and I'm ready to talk. A lot of times, I don't be really want to say shit. Cause I don't be having shit to promote. And yeah, no, you know now you mean? got yeah, so, June hey, This 10th. is a perfect time to get me to sit down and shit. Cause June I got 10th. To talk about June 10th. Side betting. Side betting. Uh, so um so the streams count too that streams helps you count as well. too yeah yeah so you can stream it man you stream it before you buy it you know what i mean you can definitely do that uh but yeah man it's 9.99 on, on everything spotify itunes are you gonna have any kind Bandcamp. of hard copy we doing 50 hard copies only uh, i'm signing CD? them cds okay. yeah we're gonna sign them with the whole little book and all that um mm-hmm. plastic i'm gonna sign each copy with the number one you bought but I'm only printing up 50, so it's like on some special edition type shit. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So after those 50, man, that's super. It's only online. super rare. You know only I mean? 50. Only 50. And those yeah. will be sold on on online. Well, you hit me on. Yeah, you can hit me. Yeah, hit online. I mail it to you. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? Mail it. And I'm signing that motherfucker with some. You know, we'll probably throw like a little, a little something. You know, a little piece of something. Some something stickers else. or a little something. Little stick, a little decal or something like that. Yeah. Hell yeah. And then uh, I got did you, uh. Did you make any stickers of your logo? Uh, no, nah, that's what I'm saying. That's, mm. Yeah, we'll probably mm. throw those in there with the logo. You know, I mean? got a homie to make stickers too. Straight I up. got a couple homies that make okay. stickers. Okay. Yeah. Then I got the t-shirts, the uh, little exclusive shirt uh, to go with the album too. We only printing up 50 of those, so oh, like man. a little package and shit. You know what I mean? Yeah, get on yeah. it. Yeah, get yeah, on yeah. it. So people fucking with it, man. You know what I mean? And June 10th, all that will be live on the website. All as well. that'll be live on the site, so you can let me know. You can either just go online straight mm-hmm. and grab the album that way. Or you can hit my little Instagram and Facebook or the website and, and order the T-shirt and the hard copy, yeah. uh, if you want that. And what, what is it? BrysonBrown.com? BrysonBrown.com. BrysonBrownComedy.com. BrysonBrownComedy.com. And then the Instagram shit, uh, underscore Bryson Brown. You can hit me on that, too. Ha- have you ever, have you done any type of, like, uh, I'm going to go live and hit my cash app type of thing? Nah, I hadn't, G. Um, the times I went live, it just kind of just been a tap in with folks, you know what I mean? Just to talk some shit, you know what I mean? Uh-huh. But yeah, I hadn't even, uh, yeah, nah, I, I've only I've only done one little online comedy show, you know what I mean? How was like, that? It was, it was all right. It was, it was better than I thought it was going to be. And, and you could see the people's faces. Nah, nah, this was, I, I was on Ali, uh, Ali. Oh, yeah. He the comedy shows on Wednesday, on Wednesday uh-huh. and Friday. Fridays, I believe, on his Instagram, and you just tap go in. live. Yeah, you just go live with him, and then you can just see and the you comments, just and tell shit. stories, talk shit. Yeah, yeah, to do jokes in the comments. They let you know the comments. Let you know if you're doing good or doing. And bad. you see like the little emojis, thumbs up, laughs, laughs. laughs. motherfuckers reciting the joke what you just said, uh, yeah. crying faces. So yeah, it was cool. Did you do like material? I, I did, did material. Yeah, yeah. 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 Well, I, I I did material, and the only reason I did material because I kind of sat and watched like two or three shows. That he was putting on and it was comics okay they they really doing material on it mm-hmm. it wasn't like yeah, yeah, yeah. just going live talking yeah, like they no. were really performing i'm like okay so i i can do this it's yeah right, but yeah. they would normally just like sit and have the ca- the mm. phone and just yeah of, motherfucker was just going at it yeah. some standing up some people this motherfucker had backdrops and shit like no on stage shit. with mics no like shit. like they really performing yeah, yeah yeah i wonder uh they it, took it, to the, <laughs> took it yeah, to the level i wonder if that helped or hurt them how'd you do yours you just you had the phone i just had the phone yeah i had the phone i mean i got some followers out the shit you know what i mean well i mean because your your delivery is so yeah. conversational that uh I, w- I could definitely see you doing well yeah yeah i guess it depends on the on, yeah. the, on the style of comic 
yeah. you know what i'm saying it depends on the style of the comic i think you'll be able you, you can do it man i don't you know do it. I, I think you can do it. it i'm surprised you hard. hadn't done one that like yourself though i, I would think you would have uh did a uh chingo bling comedy show like well, right like this would this would have been a little stay a little dope set. right here you feel me like, that would have been dope yeah like just set that shit right here boom boom yeah do that shit. invite a cat invite by two comics over and just do and that just shit, put like right? a little mic or something mm-hmm. or? that would have been dope and just go live with the shit. Huh. Ain't like you can hit a lat. You know what I mean? There's no way you are gonna hear them live. I yeah, think. Yeah. Well, on Zoom, I think um, they can chime. Yeah, they yeah, chime in everybody. and hear them that way. And you know what? I have a. This sounds funny. A Zoom room. <laughs> <laughs> my boy, my boy <laughs> Frank. Zoom room. He set up. He set up Chingo dot live, mm. and it would take you to a Zoom meeting uh, like what, uh, address. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And if I were to say like, all right, on my podcast right now, if you want to watch us like virtual studio audience just go to chingo.live I'm, I'm live. go live with bryson or whatever yeah 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 there's just so many different ways so many different ways yeah especially now man it's just it's so many different ways to get to the people bro mm-hmm. it's just, like you just gotta find your way and get to them that way and the the crazy thing is that if you think about what stand-up comedy is it's being in a, a not necessarily small but being in a room intimate setting with lots of people kind of crowded and yeah. laughing together and yeah. eating and drinking and ha 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 and a dude on stage and a certain energy and when corona happened it's kind of like no 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 that's the opposite <laughs> that's the opposite of <laughs> 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 fuck <laughs> it's like choir practice you know what? that yeah. you know the thing though i think was gonna happen with, with stand up it's gonna go it's gonna get to a point where it's gonna be underground for a little minute and that's gonna play right into my right into my hand where it's not so mainstream because you know, it's only like 30 people at a time or 40 people at a time, 50 people at a time, right? Mm-hmm. So you can get these motherfuckers. You can, it's real intimate, so you can really get them. They can really engage vers- versus 400, 500 at a time, and you maybe only 12, 15% of the room come to actually talk to you personable. So you're saying, so you're saying with the capacity limits and a smaller crowd, you could connect more? I think so. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think you could connect more. Yeah, yeah, Cause it's yeah. less, less, it's less. People, yeah, you so. be able to talk to motherfuckers. You know what I yeah. mean? Yeah, huh? Really engaged a little more. You know what I mean, at least how I'm, how I'm seeing it. Yeah, um, yeah. It's all in how you look at things. It's all in how you frame it. Yeah, that's very interesting. Um, I but mean, I could be wrong. I smoke a lot of weed, so who know? <laughs> hey, <laughs> shit, I do too. But I sometimes I be knowing what I'm talking about. Um, but yeah, man, I'm really looking forward to hitting the road with you again. Uh, we just. When was uh Nashville? We had just did oh, Nashville. Oh yeah, Nashville was was it February? It was something like that. January, right. February. Uh, I think it was somewhere around there because yeah, February. It was it had to be February because it wasn't too close. March, the second week of March is when I the last weekend I worked. Yeah. Yeah. So last, it had to be like right right around that time. Last city I did was Phoenix, and, and uh, I was in Austin. The last man. Year. Hey, shout out to the people that came out in Phoenix because. That's when it started getting. That's when it started, it started right? getting a little yeah, bit scary. Yeah, yeah. I think so we didn't know how the crowd was gonna be. I shit. think some. I, I, <laughs> I think some people were like, "Fuck it, I don't feel like getting no refund." But <laughs> I, I really appreciate the loyalty, man. Like Dallas was great. Uh, they wanted me back at the Arlington Improv. They're like, "Hey, you mm. were our opening weekend in Addison. We want you to open, open up Arlington. Arlington." And I'm like, "Y'all know y'all only I thirty minutes there. away, though." <laughs> I was just. There. But the thing about that, though, G, it's gonna be to- different crowd, right? Different crowds, Especially and I can contest that because Bruce does it every year, bro. We were literally, we literally do Addison, and maybe four months after that, we're gonna be in Arlington. And it's no, not even never six a conflict. months. After, it's never a conflict, and we are gonna add shows at both of them. Man, you, you know, know what? what? So you it's two totally different. Fort, Fort Worth crowd ain't gonna go to Addison. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, they not, and that's. Fort Worth is a whole city by itself. So you got a whole group of Fort Worth. Oh, they, that, they're the ones that go to Arlington. Yeah, I'm saying, yeah, they're going to uh, go to Arlington. They ain't going no to wonder, No wonder I did a comedy club in Fort Worth. And in we, Addison, you're going to do, you're going to get, uh, what's up in, what's, what's all up in Addison? Man, That's a top, you know what I mean? I don't even know. I don't know all the little top little cities up there. Dallas, the city of Dallas is going to go to Addison. You know what oh, I mean? Okay. Arlington, Fort Worth, them outs, you know, the outskirts city. They're going to yeah. go to Arlington, G. Yeah. And you know what? Come to think of it. If you really, really think about it, I've never really done Dallas itself. Mm-hmm. I've done Addison, Addison and I've done yeah. Arlington. And those are both kind of like suburbs. Suburbs. Right? 
You know what I mean? So you got half of the city of Oh, Dallas. actually, I'm lying. Anytime I've done Oak Cliff with uh, Midnight. But that was just like, yeah. it wasn't even like an actual comedy club or whatever. But, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, you got a whole, that's a whole nother crop of crop I'm, I'm, I'm gonna, right there, G. I'm going to tell my so we might need to get on the phone because we're both kind of nervous about it. We're like, bro, that's only two months. And check this out. Uh, the owner of um, the Addison Improv, and I think he owns several, he said, he said, man, we had some, he was in the green room just chopping it up uh-huh. and, and I was just soaking it up. But one of the things he said was, he's like, man, we used to run a comic at a club almost like it was a one man show. Mm-hmm. He said, we do it like it was a season or like a series to where basically we'd have George Lopez or somebody for like four weekends in a row or something like that. He says, what happens is you do the first weekend, then word spreads, and then everyone that missed out on that weekend, they come to the, to the second, uh-huh. and then word spreads, and then it builds up, and next thing you know, you, had a, you yeah. had a great run, yeah. kind of like a little residency, and I'm like, ah, I want to yeah. do that. They used to do that. I know Bruce used to all, Bruce tell me all the time, like, he used to come through Houston when they used to have a, um, what is it called, the, I think it was a hip-hop uh, comedy spot. Um, I, I'm not from Houston, but I don't know the, the room, that he, but... He would come on Tuesday and stay from Tuesday to goddamn Saturday, come back the next week. Like they would, that's, that's what they did. They would come in early in the week and stay all the way to goddamn Sunday. You know what I mean? Just adding shows throughout the throughout the day because the word is spread. And it wasn't no social. Think about that shit though. How fast the word, how cold you was for your word to spread that fast with no social media. It's just all motherfuckers on the phone. Just Girl, we went to such and such barber shops. My dog, we wouldn't seen such and such, bro. You need to go yeah. see him tomorrow. That's called. That's called. Like, I mean, you remember from the music scene, generating a buzz. Generating a buzz. A buzz. <laughs> a buzz. I still say that, dog. A like, buzz. I still use them old terms and yes. shit. I just need to give me a little buzz over yeah, here, Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's like when Jay Prince found Drake. Well, you know, my son, my son told me this is the new wave and this is the buzz. <laughs> he generating the buzz. And, uh, yeah, I mean, I saw it. I mean, I saw it happen firsthand and i was trying to emulate it over and over again but that's what you had to do that's why like a lot of these cities we go to for comedy i'll tell marisol or whoever like okay this is what we would normally do uh that's the club we were gonna be at the night before that's the mall Uh that's the flea market (laughs) you you walk around the the flea market Uh you hit the mexican you hit the mall you hit the food court you walk around emotional run yeah you dropping (laughs) off flyers and you showing your face and if you're lucky the dj at the thing they doing a remote they let you get on there hey what's Uh up oh shit all the way what you what are you doing down here man i got a show tomorrow most the old school promotional run generating a buzz still doing i I still do that man i'm telling you i'm i still go we still walk through the mall with bruce and we still go through the mall get to talking shit we over there what's the name so he's still bruce still old school promotion like that and and you know what's cool man is i'm watching you generate a buzz like so many comedians uh, especially just like up and comers and even a lot of veterans and ogs and people that are super funny but they don't have that other muscle it's a whole nother muscle of connecting with people and and the fans that like me and Marisol always say, uh, a thousand true fans, a That's thousand it. true fans, yeah. which is if you want to make a hundred grand and if you have a thousand true fans, hopefully they spend a hundred dollars with you throughout the year. Man, when you came, I spent 30 yeah. for the, for the yeah, ticket. Yeah, then yeah. I bought the shirt. That's 40, whatever. And then you, uh, I streamed some of your shit a couple months later. And then I went to right your YouTube and, and then I bought a thing. And then, I, then you came back and then we went boom that's a hundred dollars throughout the year out of a thousand that's a hundred thousand a year yeah bro and um marisol said we were so grateful for the crowds in dallas we were like she said that thing it's an article it's a thing it's, it's called a thousand true fans you could google it and mm. read it it's like a it's like a page and it's basically the idea of what we talked about like for example back in the music days when i was getting hit up by labels and stuff different people like like even pitbull pitbull would be like look man i got the dude from sony on the line right now or like hey man i'm telling diddy he needs to sign you i'm locked in my contract right now but you know this is the play and a lot of times i'd be like okay cool i mean i'm down but i'm from texas and my framework like Mm. my my code my, the shit that I looked up to, Tony Draper, Jay yeah, Prince, yeah, yeah, yeah. Master P, uh, shit, Selena and her dad and her family, 
Um, it just independence, independence, uh, creative control. So you couldn't see yourself owning your own shit. You ain't understand it. Call, like. Not having a boss, <laughs> nobody telling you what to do, and well, you, you own drop it. your shit. You can own your shit. Yeah. I seen J. I I seen Jay Prince's ranch. He got a thousand acres. I've been there. So a lot of the shit, you know, this stuff about yo, but the labels they got a promo budget. You have your a radio guy, and then the radio guy. Hopefully he work your project. And then they got a street mm. team, and I, okay, cool. But I seen a thousand I acres. I saw the, the black <laughs> Angus cows. They, they, I saw the hay. They making money off the hay. And he got I, more than all them motherfuckers yes, that y'all talking about. Exactly. Bit. He got an island, you know. Yeah. <clears throat> and uh, I look up to E-40. I look up to Too Short. When I got in the game, I prayed for longevity and be careful what you wish for. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So still trying to find an exit out the game, player. <laughs> but um, that's what we want, though, that longevity. I'd rather take, I'd rather take me just getting sprinkles of new motherfuckers that fuck with me every year then had that one big ass wave and then in two years you were like, sparking the well fuck yeah. you know what i mean man i remember you was on that i don't you know yeah. don't remember i was on shit bro yeah. like i want to continually continuously be on some shit you feel me he, you know every little step of the and, way man. and i don't know if you did this joke on um on your hour i mean on your your project but uh the one about like people when they say hey man you you should be on TV. <laughs> yeah, nah, Did you do it? It ain't do that one. Yeah, yeah. It, man, I it'll love that joke. Make the next, it'll probably make the next one. That's what I'm saying, bro. It's so much material. Um, really, this album I put all my favorites. Uh, the, you know the jokes that 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 I lean on a lot to kind of just force myself to, you yeah. know what I mean, come up with that fresh shit. Yeah, and, and I love having you on the road on a stage with us because the crowd really gets a treat. Like you have your own style. You have your own material that, that you talk about. And uh, then you have, you know, your own delivery and everything. And uh, I remember at, uh, it was the Tacoma, the Tacoma uh, Comedy Club, uh -huh. where you went out there, you hit your head on the sign, and you're like, <laughs> he's like, it almost said, this Bryson's Comedy Club. I should have sued the shit out of y'all. Uh, yeah, witnesses right here or whatever. <laughs> And uh, just seeing the feedback from the crowd, people coming up to you after, like, oh, my God, you were so yeah. funny. Oh, what's, you know, what's your, I'm following you now. Yeah, nah, they show love, bro. Yeah, the people in there, that's, that's the thing. Just, I don't know, bro. It's, it's really nothing the motherfucker can explain. It's just something about it. They, they fuck with me. They come up. They speak. And I talk back. You know what I mean? Yeah. They comment on the skits. I'm going to write back. When, when, you know I, mean? when I know I probably asked you this, and you, you maybe answered on the last time you were here. But like, describe when the thought first popped into your head. Like, I think I want to do stand up. Uh, fooling with the homies that did music. You know what I mean? Because I was doing the skits and shit on everybody albums. This is back in like, oh four, oh five. You know, this when you put a skit on a nigga album, it'd be the funny skit, yeah, right? Yeah. So, mm -hmm. uh, you look on the back of the album and shit. It's like comedian Bryson. Yeah. And I wasn't a comedian. You know what I mean? Uh -huh. So. Everybody will start car, go to football games and shit. You're like, oh, Comedian Price, we heard you on a... Like, it was becoming yeah. a big thing. The skits oh, who, was becoming like, a big who thing. Who were some of the artists? Shit. Like, some uh, My man, Black Mike, uh, my dog, Gutter, uh, my dog, Kid Jones. Um, they, they had a whole group called Impact. It was like five of them. Mm -hmm. um, the, the label was called uh, Above All Entertainment. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? So they were mm -hmm. from out of Austin. Um, it, had a, it was a nice little run. The boys had a nice little yeah. run. Impact, they actually signed a deal and sit with Sony. Hell so they yeah. had a little deal. We had a little deal going on. You know Hell what I mean? Yeah. You know how shit happened. Shit happened. Well, they obviously had a buzz if, if people yeah. started knowing about you from there. Yeah, project. just from the skits and shit. Yeah. Like the, the intro, a middle skit, and the outro. It's like I go to football, the little football games and shit. High school football. Be, hey, Bryce, I was out of school then, but just still hanging out. Yeah. Going to the little clubs and shit. Motherfucker was knowing my name from, from the skits. So. Hell um, yeah. yeah. It's like shit. They calling me comedian. I might well try to. Let me go see, what, awesome. see what it's like. You know, I was already at, trying to dabble in a little acting and shit. Entertainment was already there, so it wasn't mm. nothing. To, yeah, it wasn't like I was nervous to try this shit. It was just like, oh, shit, let me go see, see how this shit, how I feel. And, and you know, I don't know how true this is, but Texas might become, especially because of technology and how you're able to be independent. And Corona also taught us that you can work from home and there's yeah. ways to do shit mobily. But they're saying there's a big exodus. Like people leave in New York, people leave in LA. Trying to come to Texas. Just basically, like I know Joe Rogan and them, they've all been talking about like, ah, we're tired of how this governor is trying to tell us what to do, and we want to move to Texas. And especially somebody like Joe. Austin is probably going to be a major hub for a lot of entertainers. 
I could I could see that. Dude, there's already a lot of authors. Like mm-hmm. some of my like Tim Ferriss and uh, Ryan Holiday. There's uh-huh. some of my favorite authors. They live out there. Yeah. Like on farms or something. It's a shit. lot of uh it's a lot of white actors and actresses uh-huh. that live that in That was Austin. my next thing, yeah. I'm like, but I, I can see like uh like the urban side of entertainment actually you know, if they come to Texas. Well Houston they'll probably come to Houston before anything, before Austin, just because Houston is more fast paced than Austin. And Austin is a little bitty. We like a little brother to to Houston, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like everything mm-hmm. y'all do, we do it just to, at a smaller level. Austin getting expensive though. It is, it is. And well, I, that's all of the companies and shit. You know, Tesla finna come all out. All the that tech companies. Tesla out there, Google out there. You know, all you know, of them Facebook, out there, right? Yeah, all that Instagram got a little bit building out there. It, Samsung got out there for years. Have Apple. You, have you noticed Austin turning more yuppie? Yeah, definitely. It's definitely like, when people ask me about Austin. Tech. Yeah, when people ask me about Austin, I always say, "So you want to know like before two thousand and eight, nine, ten, or after two thousand and eight or nine, ten? You know what I mean? Because it's a total difference. When I was growing up in Austin, it's nowhere. It's yeah, gentr- nothing, gentrification. Yeah, it's nothing like the city is. It's now. almost like they took the city and just went yeah, like this. I mean, it's nothing like the only only positive thing that comes out of Austin is. Uh, small business owners thrive in Austin. And why do you say that? Just because we, I feel like we more, we accept small business more than, well, we did at you, a certain at You a mean, certain you mean customer support? Yeah, local? customer support. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, so, I mean, when Walmart was coming, they were trying to build everywhere. It's like a big uproar. Like, nah, we don't want that big shit in here. So now, did they, did they make some? Yeah. So but I mean, well, yeah, now Walmart's there now, but like when they was trying to build in a lot of neighborhoods yeah. and shit, like they fought that shit for years. Like, yeah. Because it, it takes out the little hardware Uber store. tried to come. Like Uber Uber wasn't accepted at first. They cut Uber for, for a long time. You couldn't get no Uber in Austin. Yeah. yeah like, it, I think it was, I don't know what the app was called, but it was like a little mom and pop app motherfucker was using. No shit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, G. Uberto. So Austin was always like, like that. Now, like I said, all these big companies moving it. I'm pretty sure it's going to switch. That's what's but, up. Yeah. Well, representing the Austin shit, the Austin AT. City, yeah, the 512 man. holding down for the Texas comedy scene. Bryson Brown, make sure y'all pre-order. I'm, I'm an order. I'm, I don't want to say too much because some of y'all going to snatch up all of the T-shirts and shit. <laughs> but uh, anyway, June 10th is June available. 10th, Online, you can get a, one of the physical copies, autograph. You can stream it. It'll be where? Spotify. Spotify, Pandora. Pandora. We got the Pandora um, channel for the jump off. Um, if you got the satellite radio, it'll be some, some shit played on the satellite. Uh, Google Play, iTunes, um, Bandcamp. Everything. Uh, everything. Uh, yeah, everything. Yeah, yeah. Pretty much everything you got on, on, got music on that motherfucker. That's awesome. Uh, you know what I mean? That's what's up, man. Ladies and gentlemen, Bryson Brown. Appreciate you, man. Holla at y'all, man. The, Fuck with me. The project is called Side Betting. Side Betting. 35 minutes of comedy, man. <laughs> Thanks for coming, bro. Appreciate you, boy. Appreciate it. Love. Peace. I bet. That was fun.